everyone, and welcome back to Mom Q&A with Mamas Uncut, where we answer your anonymous questions about motherhood, parenting, relationships, and so much more. Again, we got Lisa and Mindy. You guys ready to answer some questions? Yep. All right, let's get started. Please don't judge or laugh, but after having four children, I'm quite wide down there. I can't even feel my partner. He is younger than me, and I'm so scared he's going to leave me. I know it seems silly, and with so much going on in the world, to be so hung up on something that may not be a big deal to others, but it has at times made me feel very uncomfortable. I've done all the things, Kegels, but nothing has really changed. Um, what can I do in order to make myself feel better? There's like surgeries and stuff, right? There are, but I mean, pel- there's pelvic floor actual therapy. And I'm not sure, like that's different than just doing Kegels like oh, she's talking yeah. about. Pelvic floor therapy, I have heard can really help a lot because they're trained. Like if it's like a specialist, they can train, they can do different things than just like Kegels and they can help you. Because first of all, to this mom, like, things get messed up when you have kids. hundred percent legit concern. hundred percent. You are normal within the spectrum of normal. Your body is never the same. No. And it just gets further and further from normal with every kid that comes out of your body. Yes. So, I mean, just like going to a pelvic floor specialist, which that's exactly what it needs to be. Not just a physical therapist. And talking to an OB about it, just be very open. They've heard it all. They're not going to be surprised or shocked by anything that you say or ask them about. But I think that there are surgeries you could probably do, but I always go for less invasive first. And so if she hasn't actually gone to a specialist for that, that's where I would first start. I didn't even know there were specialists for this. Oh, there totally are. Pelvic floor therapy totally a thing now guys why why floor because your floor that's like the muscle (laughs) it's like a banana sling that's how I heard it described so it's like your muscles weaken when you have children obviously because they press down there for a long time and then you have them and we all know how that works and it just weakens your muscles (laughs) I'm still holding this like (laughs) your banana sling (laughs) that's exactly what they described as the banana Yeah, because I mean, after I haven't gone as far as doing that, but I did, I tried to focus more after my third child to like, not feel like such a freak. (laughs) You know what I mean? The more you have, the more things get messed up. That's really what it is. But really, that's um, down there, there's a lot of muscles and we all know that muscles can be strengthened. So it can help a lot. See, we've, we've learned something today, Lisa, <laughs> pelvic floor therapy. I had a lovely biology lesson today. <laughs> this so stupid. I've, I, I know a couple of uh, OB doctors and I've talked to them about this. So that's why it seems like I know a lot, but I just have talked to people about it. So just but ask. It, it, it's gotta be an insanely common problem. Yes, I'm sure yeah. it is. Yeah. I'm sh- and that's why I said this is totally normal. And for her to feel ashamed about it and stuff is just, nope. Yeah. We need to throw that out the window. Yeah. And it's a big reason why I wanted to read this question is yeah. because I think she really asked it because she wanted to feel not so alone. And yes. I, and I was like, this can't be just a one-off thing. Like just birthing a single child is, you know, havoc enough, let alone four. <laughs> and I can't even imagine yeah. imagine doing something like this but I also wanted to point out because I don't have a lot of advice I think Lisa or Mindy you kind of covered all of that because I've had the babies recently yeah so. <laughs> um I I want to point out like the fact that she said that her husband hasn't really she didn't usually like they bring up when they're being like talked about by their husbands or stuff the fact yeah. that she didn't include this I think he's being very respectful yeah and I wanted to point that out too because like it doesn't seem like he has a problem with this. Yeah. The fact that you guys so are go so husband active is yeah. honestly probably yeah. all he cares about. Yes. And so I, I think, Does you know. Does it say how long ago she had this baby? Sorry, I just had that random. She did not. Uh-uh. Okay, well, that's, that's another thing I want to say is like, you're carrying that child for nine months. It causes a lot of trauma. It takes time. Yeah. Like lots of time to get back to normal. So 
like I can tuck my boobs under my belt buckle at this point. <laughs> I love I love those like um, ca- cartoon animations and stuff <laughs> like that. It's just yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. See, I I couldn't breastfeed, and so I don't have that problem. But a lot of people that breastfeed, I know, have have issues oh, like that. Like, and there's if, ways to fix that. I could get a boob lift. That would be yeah. the best thing that ever yeah. happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> seriously like people do that and they feel better about their bodies so just open the conversation it's nothing to be ashamed of yep saggy boobs loose (laughs) girl parts it's all normal (laughs) people don't know what i can there's not back to dude i'm never having kids i'm never dating i was just about to say people question why i'm still single hello it gets back to normal (laughs) fine ish normal i say you know quotation marks well, okay. I don't feel totally my boobs are still very saggy yeah. they never return that to normal. can happen with just normal life too let's be <laughs> let's be straight about that okay gravity gets us all in the end well okay that was like one of the things because like ever since my shoulder started getting really bad i haven't been able to do push-ups and push-ups is what's like saved my upper region they always yeah. say push-ups is like a natural boob lift so for me like ever since totally. I was like 21 I yeah. would make sure I did at least 20 push-ups a day that would be like the first thing that I do and then I for a year and a half I wasn't able to do a push-up and I was like mm-hmm. I just like every time I would look in the mirror I was like I think they dropped a little bit <laughs> what am I gonna do <laughs> and then finally I got oh, the no. <laughs> finally I got the cortisone shots and now I can do a push-up again you go you go you get that rack back Sarah yes (laughs) that rack back back. I love that don't forget to send us over your questions so we can answer them here bye